get started with reviewing 3D PDF files using the Adobe Reader, first open the page and you'll notice that there's standard 2D content such as the legend bar and text, and there's also a 3D window. As soon as the mouse crosses over into the 3D view, a toolbar appears across the top of the page. This allows you to give quick navigation, for instance, snapping to the default view when it first opens. And putting the mouse inside the view means that the left mouse button can perform rotation to an arbitrary position. The right mouse button can be moved up and down to zoom in and out from a complex scene. And if you hold down the control key and the left mouse button at the same time, then shifting from left to right and up and down. So once you've zoomed in, there's also some controls about how objects are rendered within the 3D scene. And if we look on the toolbar, we see Model Render Mode. We can start here by selecting a shaded illustration mode, which puts line outlines across the key features of the scene, such as in this case the arrows. We could also change this to wireframe with the solid shaded and we can see the triangle density appearing within the bathymetry of this model. At any point you can zoom out to the home view to get back to a standard representation. Also if you hold the control key down and use the right mouse button, a region of interest box can be drawn within the scene as soon as you let go of the mouse, the view snaps to that location and the rotation is re-centered along the position within that region of interest. Along the top here we can also see the model tree toggle. If we push that, then we can get to a view which has multiple objects shown in a model tree which represent the main elements of the scene. If we click on, for instance, the toolbar rulers, we can turn those on and off by visibility. We can turn the title vectors on and off. We can turn on and off the bathymetry within the scene. And we can also directly turn off the Google Earth image overlay within the scene. So each of the elements within the scene are separate objects which can be controlled independently. At the corner of the toolbar, there's a control which defines how the mouse is currently behaving. We're currently on rotate mode, but this can also be changed to spin, pan, zoom, walk, or fly, etc. Using the right mouse without moving over the scene, some menus can appear. One of those is the 3D preferences, where general settings about 3D rendering can be made. For instance, you can enable double-sided rendering to see the backside of objects, and you can also set the desired properties of your hardware or software rendering for 3D. Sometimes larger scenes will switch to bounding box mode, and you can control the frame rate upon which the objects degrade to wireframe based on this threshold setting.